Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a simple way you can actually create free headers and free footers in Elementor. Apparently, to be able to create headers and footers in Elementor, you should have Elementor Pro. However, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a go around on how you can actually create headers and footers for free without Elementor Pro. So to do that, you have to be logged into your WordPress website. Then you're going to go to plugins, add new plugin. And we are going to search for a very simple plugin and actually a free plugin called header footer blocks. So it's basically having a crazy name, but you are going to see it here. It's Elementor header footer and blocks. So you basically install it. Once you're done installing, activate the plugin. Once activated, you're just going to come to appearance and then click header footer builder. Once then you are here, you are going to say add new. And basically what we are going to do here is uh, to create our header. So I'm going to name it free header. And then I'll say publish. When I publish, I have actually also to select what I'm actually creating. So that was actually an error. I, but also you can select what you want to publish after or even before you actually publish. So here I'm selecting the header option, but as well we have other options. We can create a before footer, a footer. We can create a custom block, but in this case, let's create a header. Let's update this template. And uh, once it's updated, we are going to edit with Elementor. Apparently, I only have the version of Elementor, which is free. So I don't have any premium version. I can just take you back to my dashboard to the plugin section and I show you the plugins I have installed here so press so I have Elementor which is a free plugin and this plugin that I've just installed so once we have now come over to this dashboard where we're going to create our header from we can select a template we want to use in this case I'm going to do it from scratch yeah just going to select um, a section and then here I can add a number of elements so I'm going to create three columns, add a column, and then I'll add another column, and then I'll make this column a little bit smaller. I'll use it for the logo. So I'll just get here an image icon, an image element, and then I'll upload an image to the header. I'll use this. And then over here, I'll get like social buttons. For the social media drag them over here so we have ours uh, whatever elements over here the social icons and then here we can add uh, an intersection and in within this intersection we are going to add another column and then here we can create our menu icons so we can use buttons and then we can use uh, then we can edit this button you can say menu item one menu item one then we can uh, add whatever you know styling and then we can say on hover it will turn to um, da -da -da, to this other color maybe this and then text color will stay white and then we can uh, you can add your links to where that you know menu item will, will lead you can search that over here you can either put a url maybe to google.com you can say the contact page or you can say some blog posts so depending on what you want to link up this menu item to so what i'm going to do is basically to duplicate this move it over to the other column also duplicate this and drag it over to the other column and I'm going to just change the menu item number so this changed and this changed then what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to give a very light background for 
our header so to do that we are going to do just like this come over here i'm going to actually make our header full width and then i'm going to go to the style for the background settings i'm going to uh, use the gradient and in this case i am going to say mm -hmm, gradient for our menu will run from white it will be 90 degrees and then i want it to be at this location then i'll also reduce on the tint of this section so this is basically to give you an idea of what you can actually achieve and then i'm going to make this exactly white and at the same time i'm going to come back to our section and i give it a minimum height that minimum height will be something like maybe 50 pixels so if i set 50 pixels then i am going to come back to this other column and then i'm going to make these items to be vertical aligned to the middle i can also reduce on their size so i can say uh, size of these items something like that i can extend over this other column right here and then i can say update so we have our header created with our different menu items here then if now i come over to our website we're having a default header that is given to us that is created by astra which is the theme i'm using but now when i reload because now we have published our header and created already one it's now going to reflect the header we've created so we can just make a few tweaks here we can align everything in the middle including the menu items so i just come over here to the section column and then i say da -da -da, vertical align wait come over to this vertical align i say middle so i update once I update this, we'll also update automatically. Boom, we have everything aligned in the middle. Now that is done. Now let's go and create our footer. We are going to exit this to the dashboard. Then we are going to say new template. And then we are going to say free footer. Then we are going to select the footer option right here, which is the type of template, publish. Once published, then we are going to say edit with elementor once we are here then we can start creating our footer in this case i'm going to use some already made blocks so i'll look up for some blocks here to use i'll just scroll down here da -da -da. so i'll use this part of what is going to be in my footer section i'm going to add another block so i'll come over here then i'll look up for another block to use in my footer and like you can do a lot of edits with these blocks you can change literally everything then i'll also import this which is going to be part of my footer template then what i'm going to do is basically to move these uh, sections i'll move this here to the top then i'm going to reduce the padding for this other section by coming over to section settings advanced then i'll reduce everything i'll put everything to zero and then da, 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 made an error i should also move this up here and then i'm going to make this section full width uh, not boxed so once i have it full width i should make sure that this other section is also full width this other section is also full width and then um, you can add you know elements within this section you can drag over here elements you can edit you basically specify what you want to appear in that section and how and then uh, a lot more other options you can do once you are done creating your footer you just simply update once you've updated then we can now preview our footer boom we have created our footer at the moment and now what we are going to do is simply now head back to our website now you see we had already created our header and then we had we have now a default footer made by Astra. Now let's reload our page and see what we have since we have already created our footer and header. 
Boom! Congratulations, we have now also created our footer and if we go back to the top now we also have our header and this is what we basically wanted without actually having Elementor Pro. So congratulations guys, that's how you can create your headers and footers in Elementor for free and uh, you can use them on any theme. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it brought you value. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new other tutorials just like this. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Peace.